Hey guys, happy Tuesday. Becky Timms here live for the drive at five. And today I wanted to talk to you really quickly about some Amazon pricing strategies for Q4. So for those of you that don't know, Q4 is the last three months of the year, October, November, and December. And, um, you know, a lot of people make a lot of money on Amazon during October, November, and December. However, really Q4 for Amazon sellers actually goes into January and f even into February as well because a lot of people get gift cards for Christmas and then as soon as they can, it's like those gift cards are burning a hole in their pocket. So they run to Amazon and start spending their money. And if you position yourself in the right place at the right time, then you will definitely be able to take Take advantage of that. Hi, Tina. Thanks for joining the Drive at Five. So, um, one of the things that you can do, especially right now if you're feeding the beast, which is um, if you're doing retail arbitrage and or private label, if you're sending your items in and as soon as they get there, they sell, then you might need to look at your price. So, maybe um, your price is the lowest price on there and you would want to up the price so you could increase your profit. And or maybe you're the only one on the listing. Hey, Wanzer, thanks for joining. And or maybe you're the only one on the listing. And so what I would recommend there is definitely watch your price. And also if you're selling multiple items, you know, like sometimes you might have 10, 12 sales the same day. You want to um, check and see why, especially if it's all of a sudden, you know, why all of a sudden are you making that many sales per day? Are you the only seller? Do you have um, that many competitors? Do you have, um, is your price right? And try not to ever, ever be the lowest price. I know one thing with this business is there's a lot of people and there's a lot of people with no patience. And so I recommend having, um, patience 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 but listen guys I wanted to jump on here today because as you know I have a very special webinar tonight um, it is the world's wealthiest goat farmer and you're in for a special treat because he's actually going to join me here on this Facebook live as well so let me see hey Miranda thanks for joining let me see if I can bring out the world's wealthiest goat farmer so you can meet him let's see I'm not sure it's my first time doing this. I love doing things for the first time. But hi, Dana. How's it going? Hey, it's good. How are you? Good, good. Hey, guys, this is Dana Derrick. He is the world's wealthiest goat farmer. And I have to tell you a quick story. When I was first introduced to Dana, of course, I love all of his um, information. And Dana, first of all, I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you on behalf of me and the millions of Amazon sellers that you have helped increase their bottom line profit. So thank you, especially for me. So thank you, thank you. And I can't wait for you to share that tonight with um, my team. Oh, I'm James. excited. For <laughs> good, good. But let me tell you about Dana. Dana's a goat farmer, guys. And... um. When, whenever I took my husband home to meet my mom for the very first time, I grew up in a farm in a very small town called North South Carolina. And when I took my, my, my husband there, and we went to walk in the house, and a goat walked in the house. And I was like, Mom, there's a goat in the house. And she's like, oh, Becky, that damn goat lives here. You're just visiting. Come on in, bud. And I was so embarrassed. I was like, oh, my gosh. So that's the good country living for me. But, Dana, tell us what you're going to do tonight. <laughs> I love that story. I wish I had a story to match that. <laughs> um, that's awesome. Thank you. <laughs> um, well, tonight I'm just going to come and hang out with you and your group. And I'm going to spit um, out the best um, secrets that I've discovered in my about six years of working with um, e-commerce sellers, some of the best and biggest Amazon sellers on the planet, one-on-one, -on -one, peeking inside of their business. And I'm going to just take the best of what I have discovered and then just pew, give it to you guys. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. And that's at 6 p.m. Eastern. So, guys, that's like in an hour and a half from now. And if you want to join, I mean, you can go to hangwithbecky.com and you can register. So that's hangwithbecky.com. I'm actually just sitting in my car at work. So I'm going to go home and like freshen up and brush my teeth and everything. So I'll be ready and um, ready for this webinar tonight. Guys, bring a thick notebook like this big. I'm serious. 
if if you guys listened to me in Houston last week, hey or last year, hey Cindy, I actually had like this many sentences, maybe three sentences from some of Dana's um le- some of the things that I learned from Dana. And if you would have just implemented those three sentences that I shared in my presentation last year, your Amazon business will be booming. But I can guarantee you he's probably going to share more than three sentences. So seriously, bring a big, fat notebook. Hey, Valerie, you go to be kidding me. I'm here with you, Dana. <laughs> so excited. I can't wait. I'm so excited, too. So make sure you listen and you bring your dang notebook because I am going to spill the beans. Okay. Okay. Well, listen, I'm, I'm going to go so I can head home. But, Dana, is there anything else you want to say? Oh, how many goats do you have? <laughs> you'll. I'm going to say this. You'll see all the info on my goats on the training later today. <laughs> Okay, so Miranda, you have to come to the training at 6 p.m. Eastern to hear all about the goats, okay? <laughs> all right, guys. Um, thanks, Dana. I'm going to head home. I'll see you in a couple hours. Can't wait. Thank you. All right. Bye-bye. Bye, guys.